What's up guys, Sir Maple here with C2 doing the Warlock Green Fire Quest Guide. I know it's a little bit late, but I finally just did it on my Warlock, took me forever to get around to it. First things first, you can see all the talents I was using here. I was in Destruction, so you're going to take Soul Leech, Shadow Fury, Sacrificial Pact, Unbound Will, Grimoire Sacrifice, and Kill Jaden's Cutting. For glyphs, you're going to want to use the Glyph of Siphon Life, the Glyph of Gateway Attunement, the Healthstone Glyph, the Enslaved Glyph, the and the Ember Glyph. So let's just fly over the abilities really quick, and then I'll reiterate them again throughout the fight. Curse of Ultimate Doom is basically the enrage mechanic. After 7 minutes, you'll take 500 million damage. Excruciating Agony is a dot that will deal more damage the longer it is on you. Seed of Terrible Destruction is also another dot, but after 15 seconds it will have one of three effects. It will either summon an annoying imp, which will interrupt you and stop you from moving around. Or it'll create a void zone which knocks you back about 20 yards and generates a void circle at your feet, which will suck you back in kind of like how the druids do. The third option is Backfire, which increases damage by 25%, but this stuff doesn't really matter because you're going to be dispelling it anyway. If you have both the dots on you, the boss will be casting Soul Fire, which just does a decent amount of damage. Chaos Bolt is an incredibly hard-hitting 6 second cast ability that will need to be dodged. Cataclysm will deal damage over 15 seconds and needs to be interrupted. And he'll also summon a Pit Lord, Wild Imps, Fell Hunters, and a Doom Lord. So first things first, make sure you have all your pots, your buffs, your Soul Stone before you start the fight. You don't want to sacrifice your Imp for this. Place your gateway behind the pillar and put your circle next to the gateway in the middle as you'll see here. Set the boss as your focus and burn him when he first comes out. Now after a few seconds when you have a chance to burn him, he'll start to summon a pit lord. Use the enslaved pit lord macro that you'll see at the end in order to do that. Make sure you set the pit lord to actually attack the boss as well. What we're diddly doing around here, uh, the, there's a few things to remember. You're going to want to use the pit lord's charge whenever the boss uses cataclysm and you're going to want to use your gateway to line of sight the boss whenever he uses chaos bolt. Every few seconds, you're going to want to use the Fellfire macro to dispel the dots off yourself. When you have both dots on you, the boss will begin casting Soulfire. Anyways, the first phase is the Imp phase. When the Imps come out, move to the front of the game and cast Rain of Fire. Then Shadow Fury them and use Fire and Brimstone with Incinerate and uh, Conflagrate and burn them down. If you need the extra damage, use the Fellfire macro to burn them down even faster. Again, in between phases, the boss will go into the middle and use Cataclysm. Use the charge macro to do that and do some extra damage. This is when you want to use any chaos bolts because the boss will be taking increased damage. The phase after the imp phase is the fell hunter phase. Right before the boss goes and summons the fell hunters, you'll need to move the pit lord behind the pillar where your gateway is. Otherwise, the fell hunters will dispel the pit lord and he'll become unenslaved. Now, you're going to want to save your burning embers for this phase because the fell hunters are a problem. When the first fell hunter comes out, cast rain of fire to make sure that they come at you. Put your havoc on the first fell hunter. And when the second one spawns, Chaos Bolt the second one. That'll drop both of them to... If it doesn't kill them, then they'll be in Shadow Burn phase. Shadow Burn range. And use that to finish them off. The third one, you can just Conflagrate and Burn Down or Chaos Bolt it or whatever. But make sure as you're killing the third one, you have your Pit Lord go back and attack the first... Uh, go back and attack the boss. Now again, in between this phase, Dispel with the Fellfire. Uh, stay, get out of his Reign of Fire. Dodge the Chaos Bolts. Interrupt the Cataclysm as usual. Now, the phase after this phase is the Doom Guard phase. The boss is going to go back to the gateway and start summoning a Doom Guard. Uh, this is the easiest of all the phases by far. Uh, while he's casting this, dismiss your. Make sure you're in range first. Dismiss your, your Pit Lord and quickly re enslave him. Otherwise, he'll become unenslaved during the fight if the fight takes too long. Set him back on camera with that. Now, in a few seconds, the Doom Guard will spawn. Make sure you don't attack it, but actually set your Pit Lord to go and attack it first. Use the Fellfire macro to dispel anything you have on you and to do damage to that first. At the same time, use your Soul Shatter in order to drop any aggro. And that should put the Doom Guard on you and significantly reduce the amount of damage that you're taking. Now, if for some reason the Doom Guard doesn't come off you, simply just banish him whenever he's, uh, just banish him whenever you can. But other than that, it's rinse and repeat from that point forward. The boss is supposed to use Cataclysm in between each phase, but for some reason can't, uh, for some reason the boss glitched out on the first one, and you, you, as you probably noticed, he didn't use Cataclysm the first time, he just kept casting. This fight has been known to be a little bit glitchy, but just keep trying. It only took me about 6 tries, and my Warlock's at 525 eye level, I don't really play him, but that's way more than enough. You don't, you don't need anywhere near that. But to be honest with you, once you know what you're doing, the fight's pretty simple. Um, I'm just gonna go over it really quickly. To just summarize everything you need to remember. One thing to note with using this strategy to dodge the Chaos Bolts, you need to be flying in behind that pillar before that Chaos Bolt finishes. So I, I would jump in that gate the second he started casting it. There is a little thing on the ground that might try to lot, like try to pull you in, but it doesn't really do anything, so don't worry about it. So, just to go over things, at the beginning, burn the boss and move close to the gate, then enslave the Pit Lord and have it attack the boss. 
The next phase is the imp phase. Move towards the gate and rain of fire. When the imps spawn, use the pit lord's fire. Also use shadow fury and fire and brimstone and just spam incinerate and spam conflagrate. The fell hunter phase, save your burning embers leading up to this. Move the pit lord behind the pillar well before they spawn. Use havoc on the first fell hunter and then chaos bolt the second one. Use shadow burn and incinerate to deal with the third and any remaining ones. Pop any offensive CDs if you can't one shot the first two. During the Doomguard phase, may remember to dismiss your Pit Lord and re-enslave it immediately. Set the Pit Lord to attack the Doomguard and use the Fell Fire attack, then use Soul Shatter to lose any aggro. Have the Pit Lord then attack the boss. If the Doomguard starts attacking you, just banish it. Just some general things to remember. Use your defensive CDs when required. Use the Pit Lord's charge whenever Cataclysm is used. Once you have Excruciating Agony and Seed of Terrible Destruction, use the Pit Lord's Fell Flame macro on yourself. As soon as Chaos Bolt begins casting, use your Demonic Circle and Demonic Gateway to line of sight the boss. Use Unbound Will and Singe Magic to drop the dots on yourself when you're out of range of the Pit Lord. Curse of Ultimate Doom is actually the enraged mechanic of this fight. After 7 minutes, it'll just one-shot you, dealing I think 500 million damage. Your Demonic Gateway should lead behind the pillar, and the Demonic Circle should be next to the Gateway in the middle, so that if you're not close enough to the Gateway to use it as soon as Chaos Bolt is used, you can just snap to it with the Circle. Now remember, things are gonna go wrong, but don't panic, just adapt and keep on moving through it. There are also, it's also been known to be a little bit glitchy, so don't get frustrated, just take a step back and relax and you'll be able to do it, it's not that difficult. Now as I said at the beginning, there are some macros. These are, these are the three macros you're gonna need for sure. The first one is to enslave the Pit Lord. If you write them out exactly like this, this is exactly, the next one is the charge one, which you use to charge Camerathad for the Cataclysm part. And the last one is to Fell Flame yourself. It will cause the Pit Lord to target you and cast Fell Flame to dispel you. But that's it, guys. As long as you focus and keep at it, you'll get the green fire. You'll get that sweet achievement that'll be going away. That sweet title. I think it's of the Black Harvest, if I'm not mistaken. And most importantly, screw Red Fire. Keep it sleazy, folks.